Hello guys, it's James here and today I'm going to be talking about Manchester United's defeat to Liverpool at Anfield last night in Europa League first leg of the round of 16. Um, and yeah, it was just a bitterly disappointed night for Manchester United fans. Not only was the result poor to lose to the Scousers, but the performance was just abysmal. The first goal came from a dubious penalty. You can have it, say it's a penalty or not. Um, you could say he fouled him. Um, I would probably say he did foul him, so I'd say yeah, it probably was a penalty. Um, you just, whatever you do, you just can't put your arm on someone and pull them back when you're in the penalty area. So yeah, you know, I think it was a penalty, and then Daniel Sturridge steps up and puts the penalty in. Um, you could sort of tell where he was going to put it by the run up. He got sort of stops, and obviously he wasn't going to be able to put it in the other end. But um, it was a bit of a funny penalty, but they scored it. The second goal came from a poor pass from Michael Carrick. You know, he came on to tighten the things up at the back, and he just caused more havoc at the back, in my opinion. The ball came in. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Is he trying to cushion it to Rivo for him to then get rid of it, or what? But I just think put your laces for it. Just smash it up the pitch. Uh, he doesn't. He gives it straight away to Lalana, I think it is, who plays it to Firmino, who then scores to make it 2 0 Liverpool, which means Man United have a harder task now at Old Trafford, going in 2 0, not 1 0. First of all, Manchester United had one shot on target, and that was about a 20 25 yard effort from Daily Blimp, which was never ever going to threaten Mignolet. We weren't up for it at all. We weren't up for it. At, and I just don't know how you can say that. How can you say we were not up for a European game against fierce rivals Liverpool at Anfield? How can you not say that? Every Manchester United fan, every Liverpool fan, all the Liverpool players, David De Gea, were all up for this match. But the other 10 players were. I mean, how can you say that? I mean, as you said, every United fan was up for tonight. They were really looking forward to a fierce derby. The United players did not show that. Uh, there was no passion from them, there was no fight in the team. And yeah, you, this, as you said, you know, the players just look like they want to pay for play for the cash that their their huge salary bill at the end of the, the week. Not the badge on their chest. They don't look like they want to represent or show any pride. They just look like they're playing for the money. Uh, David De Gea was exceptional in the game. Oh, you've got to give him credit, he was fantastic. Um, he saved us time after time after time. Without him, it could have been five, it could have been four or five, you know, and we would be out. If it wasn't for him, there would be no point of a second leg. He was that good. He made so many great saves. And I just really do feel concerned if he does leave at the end of the year. Because without him, we are just not the same team. Because he saved us so often. Uh, you just got to worry if he was to go next season. Would we see the same Romero? I don't think we would. As I said, the team has no leaders, they all look lost. Um, the only positive I can take from the game is there is a second leg. We do have a second leg uh, to turn it around, but based on what we saw there, I can't see us overturning it. I really can't. I mean, they if they score one, we need to score four. On that basis of a performance, Liverpool were up for it, we were not. Now, you can't say, I think United will be up for it next week. But Liverpool are going to be up for it as well. And bearing in mind we've got to overturn this goal. If they get one, if they get one with the poor defence we've got at the moment, we would have to score four. I just can't see it happen. I wish it does happen, but at the moment I can't see it happening. Um, but, you know, there is, the, as I said, the only positive is there is a second leg to overturn it. We're going to go and beat them 3-0 next week at Old Trafford. I'm sure everyone will forget about this, but I mean, that's twice now we've gone to Anfield and played poor. It ends our four wins in a row against them, but we played awful last time at Anfield. These players don't show any pride, any passion at all, which Arsenal United fans do, and it does make me feel very disappointed. However, we've got a chance to redo ourselves with West Ham on Sunday in the FA Cup quarterfinal. If we win that, we're into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We're at Wembley. We've got a chance of winning something. Thank you for watching this video. See you later.